only on News 5. It's a situation you hope you never have to deal with, but more and more of our neighbors are waking up to find evidence of bed bugs. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson spoke with a local exterminator who says bed bugs are thriving here in Southern Colorado. They are. They're a problem right here at home, and they're actually being found in all 50 states. Back in the 80s, bed bugs were almost eliminated in the United States, but exterminators say the chemical that was used to kill them was also harmful to people, so it was later banned by the feds. Now the bed bugs have made a comeback, and tonight we show you how to find them before they find you. Once you get the mattress up, you always want to look at the bottom of it too. Kyle Freeland is a bed bug exterminator. He admits it's work that can make your skin crawl. One call per month and I was pretty happy. And now it's one, two, three calls a day that we're receiving for, for bed bugs. And that tells me right in, in, in plain black and white, black and white that, that that's getting worse. Finding refuge in bed seams and the crevices in furniture, these parasites no bigger than an apple seed hitchhike from place to place, then lie in wait until they can crawl out to bite people. And it can happen anywhere. We've done $2.5 million homes. Like nobody's safe. They don't care what your wallet looks like or what your car, you know, what car you drive. They want to eat. That's all they know. These little creatures inspire fear across our society. But Kyle is sharing his knowledge with News 5 to help you avoid these bugs from taking a bite out of your skin and your wallet. According to HomeGuide.com, the average cost of removing bed bugs from a home is between $1,000 and $2,200. And exterminators with the National Pest Management Association say the top three places they find bed bugs are in single family homes, apartments, and hotels. Yeah, I'm glad you saved it for us. Look at the. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. God. Yeah. Kyle says in his experience, people who are buying used furniture are seeing some of the worst okay. infestations. I mean, you can get a couch for $50, but you never know that you're going to end up spending $1,200 now to get your whole house treated because of that $50 couch. If bed bug cases are increasing locally, health department officials wouldn't know it. In an email, El Paso County officials say, quote, while bed bugs, lice, are a nuisance, they do not transmit infectious diseases. Therefore, they don't investigate or track potential bed bug lice issues, end quote. So what can you do to guard against bringing these bugs home with you next time you travel? Now, bed skirts, always a concern. This is the first thing I do before I even bring my bags into a, in, into a hotel room uh, at all. I'll leave them out in the hallway and I will tear the room apart for about 15 minutes looking everywhere. So once you get, you know, through the blankets, like I said, I do, I'd probably do one, one layer at a time. They love to be in these little seams along here and they love the corners for whatever reason. I don't think we're going to find any here just because I take care of this property, but these little corners, these little areas run all the way along. And if you see anything, like we said, the little coffee grounds that are stuck up in here, that's a first, a first concern, a first sign. I would even check if the picture comes off or the headboard comes off, I would check these. And again, they like to be in little areas, always in the corners, in little cracks, hiding. I do not see any on here. And again, there is some white dust here from possibly a treatment before from us. Exterminators recommend we use the acronym SLEEP, S survey for signs of bed bugs. L, lift and look. E, elevate luggage away from the bed and wall. E, examine your luggage before you leave. And P, place clothing in the dryer when you get home on the highest setting. But I mean, if you take the time, uh, 10 or 15 minutes to take a peek at a room, you could save yourself thousands of dollars, period. And bed bugs have become such a concern in Colorado last summer. State leaders passed a law to clarify the responsibilities of landlords and tenants when it comes to reporting and dealing with bed bugs. For more information on that law and your rights as a renter, you can head to our website, koaa.com. And one thing, Elizabeth, I want to make clear is there was one shot of file video there of bed bugs, but everything else, you saw the couch, you saw bugs on beds, that was all shot by our exterminator right here in Southern Colorado. So I know folks may not believe this is really a problem, but since it's not tracked 
our exterminators are saying this is the type of stuff they're seeing all the time. And who would have thought about like Facebook Marketplace? We all go there, look at furniture, look at things to buy. Like you don't think about that. <laughs> exactly. And, and we saw it on our Facebook page today. Many people giving their feedback because they actually have experienced this. So again, you can go to our website, look at all those tips again, do everything you can to not bring these guys home. Good information. I always check the back of the mattress when I get to a hotel room, but I'm going to be more thorough next time. Thank <laughs> you, Patrick. Idea.